I got a scripture for you, sis. I got a scripture for you. Proverbs 12, uh, 12 you know what I want, Proverbs Y'all read from King James? Yes, yes. King this is the book of Proverbs. So like it. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, 28, and verse one. Wait, give me, oh, hold on, give me Proverbs 9 and 13, read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter nine, verse 13. Read. A foolish woman. A what? A foolish woman. A what? A foolish woman. A foolish woman is what? It's clamorous. It's clamorous, keep going. She is simple. She is what? She is simple. She is what? She is simple. She knoweth what? And knoweth nothing. And knoweth what? And knoweth nothing. And knoweth She looks hot. She looks pretty hot. I don't mean hot like in a like oh she's cute beautiful type of shit. I mean like hot like she's pissed off. Looks upset. Give me Proverbs seven and eleven, man. This is chapter seven and verse eleven. She is loud and stubborn. Read that again. She is loud and stubborn. Oh my gosh, read that again. She is loud and stubborn. She is what? She is loud and stubborn. Loud and stubborn, man. Direct Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. So I know people wondering, like, why do you identify with them a little bit more in the majority than normal people do? And the reason why, because I I identify as someone who are in the Bible. You think? Um, am I a Bible believer? Yeah, I do believe the book is pertaining to a certain group of people, just like the Quran, just like American history is pertaining to a certain group of people, just like any other book in America or abroad or any book you can freaking find that's not on this planet is pretty much, pretty much going to be pertaining to the cover of the freaking book. If I write a book about dogs, it's not going to be about cats. It may be about, maybe a little section in there about how the relationship of dogs and cats don't get along, how they will always be beating each other up, unless they grew up together. Most likely, that's not really happening. So, we're looking at stuff like this. Yeah, y'all are, are reading from fucking King James. A shameless woman. A what? A shameless woman. A what? A shameless woman. A shameless woman. Keep going. Shall be counted as a dog. As a what? As a dog. As a what? As a dog. Give me Isaiah 40 and 17. See, that's what people will probably have it. Uh, pretty, pretty. Uh, they'll probably have it foul. It's like Jesus don't preach that bad stuff. He don't preach none of that stuff. All right, people. I'm not here to actually change your thinking. I'm just here to give you a new perspective, unapologetically. Uh, if you think that this world, our government, is just sweet, nice people, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You did. If you think there's one man. That can walk this planet and be gray and sweet and non agitated and no ease with like with no ease. Like you're not gonna get that period. It just never happens, you know what I mean? So by them saying that the Bible called her a dog and you I mean you can go and rephrase that whole thing, watch this take back. But that's pretty foul, right? Pretty foul. Give me Isaiah 40 and 17, man. And y'all are wow. Give me Isaiah 40 and 17. That's the God that you This is the book of Isaiah, that chapter 40 and king, verse by the way. 17, wow. right? All nations before him are as nothing. All oh, what? All nations before him are as nothing. Hey, come over, brother. Now, I know a lot of people like, this Bible stuff is crazy. They're preaching hate. They're preaching this. They're preaching. I get it, man. I get it. But you have not seen one of these dudes murder somebody. You haven't seen them steal from somebody. You kind of see them act most close to righteousness as possible. I'm not giving kudos to them. I'm not giving kudos to the ones that do crazy things. So it's just what I'm saying is you find majority of the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites doing what the commandments say. Thou shalt not kill still. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not fornicate. I mean, all these great commandments that were given on to the people of Israel. You see these cats actually practicing it. 
you know, I'm pretty sure you'll find some rotten apples in a bunch, but that's with any crew. I mean, go read the book of the Holy Bible. You see how Israel hardly hearkened into God's voice. You did. So, I'm not preaching hate message. I think people need to understand where they're coming from before we get out here and try to annihilate a group of people because of their claiming to hold on or because of their because of holding on to their heritage. You know, I know this is gonna rub a lot of feathers. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh no, this is wrong, this is bad, and you anti Semitic. Motherfucker, if you already knew that the Shemites were literally progenitors of Shem, came from Noah, and the mother cause it was black. They weren't white. I'm not knocking anybody's rituals. I'm not knocking anybody's religion. I'm just saying, go look up the facts for yourself, people. I mean, as an entertainer, I perform for so many people throughout the world. So many people. And I, and I, I majority of my audience is Caucasians. Literally, majority of my audience. So there's no agenda I'm trying to push here. Obviously, you can see I'm, I kind of have a universal world. But I'm just here to give you an unapologetic opinion. Some things I don't like. Some things I just have to roll with. Hey, man, you an Israelite, King. You an Israelite, man. Yo, yo, you an Israelite. People Are you live good? down here. I live here, you and good? you're so goddamn loud. 2.30 in the fucking morning. I'll have you sighted in and removed physically if you'll shut the fuck up. Oh, oh. She is upset. Wow. She's angry. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Now, mm, that was a lot, as you can see. When you're doing this at 2.30 a.m., it can really bother a lot of folks, especially when you're quoting from the top of your lungs or you're reading from the top of your lungs the scriptures. And I can see how this will be. Uh... You know what? You know what I want to do for that lady? I want to give her one for you. That lady got thug life. That was some thug shit she did right there. You did? She went gangsta on the ass. God or no God. She didn't, she, 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 she didn't give a damn about none of that. She went straight gangsta. She put the log song and came out there and woke up. Keep playing. All my niggas who be thinking they saw way up. She, she went straight West Coast on. Now, this is the type of shit I like to see. I like to see somebody come up, go up against the crowd, go up against the beast. You know, I like the the rebels. And she did that. She did that. White, black, Chinese, it doesn't freaking matter. When you have boldness and you step up to make it happen, you see the results. Of course, they're going to do their rebuttal. They're going to keep it going. You know, that's just the mission. But you can't, you know, you can't stop just because one person says, oh, it's, I'm getting tired of it. You know. We got to keep this thing moving. We got to keep it pushing. Sorry. It is what it is. Thank you for being a thug and having that thug life with you. But come on. We got to keep it pushing. It's crazy. What's happening, brother? Brother, you tearing that up right there. What you doing? That better not be no damn pork. I swear. What that is, brother? Ooh, what that is? What is that? Brother, what is that? That look like slime. Man, don't tell me what that is. Brother, what is that, brother? About to eat this swine, about to eat this pork right all in your face. I bet he got a pork chop in there. I bet he do. 
clubbing footy, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Keep going. He is unclean to you. He's what? He is unclean to you. I'm eating with some barbecue sauce. He is unclean to you. I'm eating from with some ketchup. He is unclean to you. Some hot sauce with it. He is unclean to you. Eating with a cornbread. 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 It's out of cornbread. He is unclean to you. It's unclean, brother. You cannot be in and out of abomination, brother. Give me Leviticus 10 and 10. Give me Ezekiel 41. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 10 and verse 10. Right. And that ye may be. People, that ended that. I, I ended that. You guys can go more and watch the Israelites. You know, this camp is uh, called the Lion of Zion. So you guys can go watch them. Um, but I may be bringing some more of the Israelites and chopping these videos down and kind of giving a real unapologetic uh, vision or, or opinion about these things. Um, but as a 20 year entertainer, man. Um, been an entertainer since I was 12, and now I'm what, in my 30s. So, I mean, I can honestly say, being an entertainer, I definitely understand what it's like being uh, um, uh, going against the grain and being different. You know, I understand what that's like, you know. But I kind of feel myself like Nicodemus, you know what I mean? The guy who kind of just kind of stayed out the way a little bit. Why? Because, you know what I mean, I, what I say do affect a lot of people. Uh, what I do do affect a lot of people and because I've already started this mission and this movement to keep going with life as far as being an entertainer and touring the country and being a you know I mean just being this dude uh, this entertainer guy um, I really understand that what I say can really hurt people and make them feel bad so I'm not condemning this uh, the Israelite movement I'm not condemning um, the lineage you know um, but, you know, God knows my heart like you do. So uh, pretty much, you know, what the biz is going on in the world today is an unapologetic opinion about the Israelite movement. And this opinion about the movement, I'm not upset with. Now, we do have a bunch of bad apples, like I've mentioned before. There's a lot of bad apples. But um, we cannot let the bad apples deter the tree. You know what I mean? Motivation, inspiration, and unapologetic opinions. Chill What the B is? TV show. We out. Chill